All right, Evan out there in Banjo Land, Mike Henning here. Just got a little mini banjo lesson for you today. We're going to continue talking about melodic style banjo. So the melodic style is commonly used to play fiddle tunes on the banjo, note for note fiddle tunes, which is really, really cool. I love melodic style playing. And for this lesson, we're going to talk about the key of D. So there's tons of fiddle tunes in the key of D. So obviously learning melodic style licks in the key of D is a very natural thing to do if you're playing banjo. I did two other lessons in the past, one on melodic style playing in the key of G and one on melodic style playing in the key of C. And I encourage you to check out both those as well. There's a lot of similarities between the G scale, the G major scale and the D major scale. Only one note separates them. So again, if you can take what you've learned with the G major scale and apply it to the D major scale, it's just going to make learning the D major scale that much easier. So in this lesson, I'm going to break down the D major scale in two octaves, starting from down here and then moving it up and show you some basic fingerings, patterns, and some ideas to get you started. This is just really going to be kind of an intermediate intro lesson. I'm not going to go super in depth on how to like transition this to songs and stuff really just going to use this to get your fingers moving in the right direction get used to the notes get used to going up and down the scale and starting to come up with some of your own licks all right let's start breaking down intro to melodic banjo in the key of d all right let's start breaking down this intro to melodic banjo key of d lesson so first let's just get down the d major scale in two octaves make sure we know that really well before we start again creating some licks Let's just get the positions and the scales down first. So let me show you a couple ways to do this scale. There's a, there's a lot of ways to play the scale on the banjo just because of the nature of the tuning of the, of the banjo. There's multiple ways to play these same notes. So I recommend getting really comfortable with the notes themselves. It'll make having to memorize all these different scales a little bit easier if you actually know the notes related to the scale. And I think knowing a little bit of music theory in this case can go a long way. The D major scale and the G major scale are very, very similar. So you might already know the G major scale. And that has eight notes. Normal major scale has eight notes. And the D major scale has only one note different than the G major scale. So if you know the G major scale, you can, you can basically find all the notes of the D major scale by just changing one note of that scale. So very handy, again, because you don't have to completely memorize this new scale. If you can harness what you've already learned playing the G major scale, it's going to make finding that D major scale that much easier. Okay, so let's start down here. Let's start on our open D string, our fourth string. Then we're going to play the second fret. I'm going to use my first finger. Third fr or fourth fret, excuse me, with my third finger. And then you can do open G string, second fret on the G string, open B string, second string, second fret, C sharp, and then open D. So that C sharp is the only note different from the D major scale to the G major scale. So the G major scale has one sharp, F sharp. The D major scale has two sharps, C sharp and F sharp. So just by knowing that one little tip, all I have to do to, to make a G major scale a D major scale is change the C to a C sharp. That's all I have to do. So let's go up and down that scale a few times and then I'll show you how to convert it to a melodic style scale. Don't be too worried about what you're doing with your right hand at first. You can do, you know, all thumb index single string. You can do all thumb to start if you're just trying to get down the notes. You know, you can come up with a combination of fingering. I wouldn't worry about your right hand at first. Get the left hand positions down, and then you can worry about what you're doing with your right hand. So let's go up and down that scale a few times. scale you can mix up the notes once you get them down just end on a D note and it'll sound like a lick so that's the first thing I would do when I whenever I'm learning a new scale or any kind of musical idea just play around with it a little bit see what you can come up with end 
on a D, either the low string or high string, it's gonna somewhat sound like a lick if you're playing those notes of the scale. Okay, so that's just basically the D major scale kind of in down in first position. You could also play with more closed notes if you wanted to. with like all all closed as many closed notes as possible so closed notes means no open strings okay so let's look at kind of converting that to a melodic scale so we're going to keep our first couple notes the same and then we're gonna hit the open third string so i did open two four on the low string and then right here we're going to shift up our third finger up to seven and play that note on the fourth string now open second string, sixth fret on the third string, and then open first string. So now we have shift. Let's do that a few times. Again, same idea, mix them up. up those different, you know, positions. Let's see what I can come up with. Again, end on a D. Or try and transition back to the lower scale. That'd be another good practice. But basically that whole shift happens with your third finger. Now I'm up in this melodic position. Be a good one to practice is shifting from this back down to this shape. So basically it's like this D chord, which you probably used if you've played scrub style in the key of D, and then you're working on shifting up. So that's a, that'd be a really good practice. Okay, let's now let's add another octave. So that's our first octave. Right here we can go up again so open D string and there's a couple ways to do this I'll show you but I'll show you the easiest way first open D string then shift up to the fifth fret second string fourth fret first string open G string shift all the way up to 10 and 9 and then 10 on the second string 9 11 on the fifth string and then pinky on 12 so I'm fretting the fifth string with my, my third finger there. Again, if you've played that G major melodic scale, you rap with your, pin, or your thumb at the 10th fret, which is the C. Something like that, which we broke down. You can check out another lesson I did, Intro to Melodic Banjo, Key of G which uses that. So again, something like that would be in the key of G. Now, all if, I, if I modify that by, by switching that 10th fret to the 11th fret, and then right here, modifying this C to the 6th fret, now I've got my, my, I can do a similar style lick. Again, I'm just kind of experimenting, but just, Notice that all I have to do is make that one modification. And then I'm in the key of D. So let's go up and down that scale a few times. Again, and it's good practice to, once you're getting it down to just go straight up and down the scale. Remember, kind of in real life music, you're very rarely just going to go straight up the scale and straight down. So get used to mixing the notes around. Okay, so just again, just experiment, end on a D, start on a D. It's going to sound like a D lick to start with. And remember, you got to throw a lot of stuff at the wall to start. I'm not expecting you to immediately come up with an amazing lick, right? So 
you're just starting getting your coordination down. So let me show you a couple quick other ways to do that same exact scale. One other way that's, that I like to do is instead of using the open D string, is play that note with the seventh fret on the third string with my pinky. So why do I like to do that? One is, let's say I had to jump from my D note to my F sharp. Now, it's hard to do that if I'm on the same string, where now I can do that by putting those notes on different strings. You know, something like that, if I was gonna play maybe, for example, the intro to Arkansas Traveler. So if I did that with open strings, it'd be harder because I, those two notes are on the same string. A good tip from melodic banjo is keep as many notes on different strings as possible. That's how you get that flow. So if I do it this way, see how much more it flows? Instead of... So that's good practice of knowing where those notes are on different strings. You can also do that uh, movable pentatonic lick too that works really well. Which is cool too. So that's another. That's a, I also like to do this this version. Something like that. It also gives you a nice ending note. You can end right there. Another way you could do it if you want to start a little higher up the neck, use your open D, and then grab your second note on the ninth fret of the third string, and then seventh fret on the second string, and then fifth string. So you have Another one I like to do a lot. Basically just starting a little bit closer to where you're gonna end up. I do that in my, my whiskey before breakfast versions. Right up there. So rather than doing it down here, Remember, in melodic banjo and banjo in general, there's multiple, multiple ways to play the same idea. And you, you have to try a bunch of them because sometimes it can make the, a big difference between how difficult the song is. So if I did it this way, it just, I mean, it's possible. It's, it's a, just a bigger jump. It's harder to execute. Whereas if I do it up here, trying in a couple different spots. Remember, just get, your, get used to your notes. It's also good ear training to hear how those notes work together. Practice little ending licks like that too. Can be so that's how I'd start with two octaves there. thing you can do is maybe try transitioning from like a scrug style lick maybe something like something like that and then see if you can do a melodic ending lick something like that so instead of maybe doing more like a scrugs something like that I could go Again, I'm just experimenting, just trying some stuff. So again, you can also transition from a scrug style position to a melodic style lick. You also got your, your scrugs D lick up here, right? Or D chord. So you can use that to transition. Something like that. Maybe you're up here and then you transition down. And again, you're gonna have to experiment a lot, but Knowing the fretboard in and out is really going to help you get out of those tricky, tough positions. So I wouldn't even go any further up the neck at this point than the 12th fret D. In future lessons, I can show you how to keep keep that scale going up the neck even further. But I would just start with the basics. Start with getting down and getting familiar with those positions. If 
you know some fiddle tunes, start picking out the melody or start playing some basic melodies. But I, for a melodic style, I really like to just use it for licks occasionally. So, you know, maybe do, do a D and then do a lick. You know, just do some basic rolling. seeing what I can come up with. The more kind of comfortable you can get in a key, the, the more your improvisations are gonna to start to make sense. But you gotta throw a lot of stuff at the wall. And remember, start with the scale, start going straight up and down it, get used to playing the positions and the right hand moves, and then start expanding on the scale. Lastly, once you've got the scale and the positions down, start playing a song. Check out my version of Whiskey Before Breakfast or St. Anne's Reel. There's tons of fiddle tunes in the key of D if you like melodic style banjo. You, you, there's, the, there's a wealth of material in the key of D. All right, hopefully that gives you some stuff to start out with. All right, good luck.